Hello and welcome everyone. I believe each one of you can hear my voice and see my screen. Can you please quickly confirm me in the chat box if you can do that? Can I have a quick reply from you guys if you can hear my voice and see the screen? Thanks, Samir. Thanks for confirming me. We are just waiting for next one or two minutes to let other people join and we'll start this session. Okay, guys, let's not waste the time. So quickly start this session. So let me just help you guys first that what we are going to discuss in this particular session. So right now that you are attending today, it is about digital marketing orientation session, right? So as the people who are joining this session, each one of you wants to become a digital marketer. You want to learn digital marketing skills for various different objectives. So keeping your objective in mind will be helping you out to understand about various things digital marketing industry, how it works and various other things as well. So let's quickly, I'm helping you out what will be the agenda of today's session. So in this particular session, you, we will be discussing about introduction. In the first part, we'll be talking about myself, I am still, and then in the second step, we'll be talking about what, why, and how of digital, which is an important, top, important topic for you guys, where you'll be able to understand that as you are planning to become a digital marketer, so what should be like your focus, why you should care about digital marketing, how things evolve in digital marketing industry, right? So what all things you need to learn about it. So everything we'll be discussing about in the second step and how this industry moves. At the third step, we'll be talking about right structure to learn digital marketing, right? Because each one of you want to become a digital marketer. And trust me, each one of you want to become an effective digital marketer. You don't just want to learn digital marketing. You actually want that you can produce results in this industry, right? So because learning something is a different part and learning something at that level that you can actually produce the result is the other thing. So if like I talk about that, how you guys will be able to produce result in this industry. So there is a particular structure that you guys need to follow. Because every learning in any industry, it required a structure to learn. If you are learning something which is not structured well, or which you are learning like without any pattern, then I don't think that you'll be able to make in that industry very good. So if you want to become a good uh, person with a good skill or a person who can produce actually results, so you need to focus on your journey as well, that how you are learning the thing, right? So that's right structure to learn digital marketing, which definitely can help you to learn in a way that you can produce the result. We will be talking about at the third step. In the fourth step, we'll be talking about how you guys can go ahead and get the job in industry, how IM skills will help you to get the jobs in the industry, how freelancing people can make their career with the help of IM skills, and how we guys can like guys can crack your clients using IM skills learning apart from it, how to become an effective freelancer in the industry so that you can deliver the project and grab more projects. Fifth step is about artificial intelligence in digital marketing. So as you guys can see, it is AI-based learning in digital marketing. 
So how many of you are aware what is AI? Can I have a quick idea from you guys? If yes, please reply in the chat. Yes. If no, then I am definitely going to create for you guys what it is. So can I have a quick reply? That if people are aware about AI in digital marketing or what is actually AI? Guys, I need reply in chat box. Can you just please mention quickly there? Okay, Samir is saying in only general, he knows about what is AI. What about others? Do they aware? No, don't have any idea. Jyoti is not saying. Okay, and other people know it or don't know it? Can I have a quick reply? Mukul Nehar is saying artificial intelligence. Yes, AI is actually artificial intelligence. But you have sound knowledge of it or no? Yes, it's like chat GPT. Oh, that's great. You are aware of some of the tool of AI? Perfect. So yeah, I can see that some of you is aware that what is AI, some of you are not aware what is AI, right? So definitely I'm going to create it at the fifth step that how AI is impacting digital marketing industry and how and why and what all you are going to learn in I am still training about AI. So we'll be talking about that at the fifth step. And then at last, I have a surprise for you all who are giving their more than one hour or one hour in this particular session to getting understanding about all these things. And there will be a surprise for all of you, right? So stay tuned till last. So first, let me quickly complete the introduction part. Myself is Dipanshu Jaiswal. I'm heading the marketing at IAM Skill. I'll be taking care of most of the digital marketing initiatives here. So definitely I'll be the person who's going to help you within your training as well in some of the session that I'll be helping you out. There will be other trainers as well who will be teaching you. Apart from it, you will be also able to ask me any question during this session related to the industry, related to your doubt is regarding this industry because I have already spent more than eight to 10 years in this industry. So I'll be able to help you out about your query. If I talk about I am skills journey, then we started I am skills in year 2015. I am skills started with a digital marketing master course after serving more than 10 years in the digital marketing field. So the founder, Mr. Webber Stucker, he himself created various projects and blogs. And by working on those projects by making those blogs famous, reaching more than millions of audience using those projects, he understand the power of digital marketing. And with the help of other fellow trainers, he started with this digital marketing master program, where we will be teaching you about all the techniques about digital marketing, which can help you up, like definitely an effective digital marketer, right? So within a year of launch of this program, we have reached more than 1,000 professionals we have trained in this industry, which itself is a great milestone that we have achieved. In one calendar year, in starting year only, we have achieved more than 1,000 professional training. In 2018, we have expanded to more than 33 countries, right? And in year 2022, we ranked number one by India TV for achieving the highest placement record. So all the people in this session who actually looking forward to build a great career in this industry, then they can rely totally on the IAM skills to help you out with the job opportunity. As we rank number one in last year and definitely this year, we are also planning to rank number one and provide maximum job opportunity to our students, right? In 2023, we have also launched our AI-based digital marketing, which is hot topic right now which most of the people are caring about in their industry who are already digital marketers. They even don't know about artificial intelligence related tools and learning. So it will be a great added advantage to all those people who are planning to learn digital marketing. If they also learn AI related learning, they will be ahead in the industry than the other people who are already working or who are also making their career with some standard courses who only teaching you the traditional digital marketing skills. So right now, I believe each one of you is aware that AI is impacting the industry and everyone looking at the AI, like they will uh, remove most of the jobs from the industry. 
but yet if you are someone who accept the ai very well then you will be the person who is in more demand because there are requirement of those people who can use the ai tools effectively right so learning digital marketing and then making yourself ai related tools or making yourself enable with ai related tools will make you in like a great demand in the industry as compared to the other people who are not having that skill right so in 2023 we are the only organization right now teaching the ai based learning along with the digital marketing learning most of the people don't teach it they just teach you of the basic digital marketing which is about google ads seo and all if i'm talking about the mission and history it is very like in short i'm just describing you mission is all about helping our students to uh, or helping the industry to uh, like learn at affordable price right so if you see the pricing of our most of the course it is very affordable it is not like 60 70 50 80 000 rupees it is very nominal around 29 30 000 rupees the pricing you are paying for this and you will be getting the learning which is even more prominent than the people who are offering at a price of even the lakhs rupees in the industry they don't cover this much topics they don't cover that kind of learning practically they don't provide you the paid internship and all which we all giving you in very affordable price so making the education industry is the only mission history i already created that the founder mr web of sakar reached more than millions of people digitally with the help of their few blogs in the website and then he decided to start something which helps ultimately you guys to reach out to the similar kind of audience and achieve the results that you are looking at so as you all are digital marketers here as you all want to become or aspiring digital marketers here so i just want to have a quick question from you guys we will be talking about the third part of this step which is how what and why now so first i want to know that how many of you are aware that after learning digital marketing after become a digital marketer what will be your work what you are going to do as a digital marketer for your organization for your freelancing clients or for your own business what you going to do the like when you learn the digital marketing after learning it can i have a quick reply what will be your core focus being a digital marketer i need quick reply guys can you just please drive sales divya is saying divya can you just put it yourself on the everyone when you message just message to everyone right now i only i can see your message so divya saying drive sales kabir is saying maybe gain e-commerce popularity for our firm okay what about others what they think what do you guys think like what will be your work as a digital marketer once you learn the complete skill okay they were saying brand building as well okay mukul is saying career growth okay just suggest uh, guys just suggest maybe you will write or you will be wrong right so there is nothing like to hide something if you want this session to be interactive and more interactive just communicate and make make it interactive from your end as well anshu is reply directly to me i request anshu from next time reply to everyone she is saying lead generation okay so till now i have few replies one is drive sales then popularity then brand building then we have a career growth okay then you have a lead generation okay to do against or marketing easily which is opposite to the traditional way of marketing okay growth in social media okay mohammed is saying brand exposure right so see if i will talk about what you people are suggesting that most of you people are suggesting a correct thing right you are aware that if you are joining a digital marketing industry then what will be your work to like that you are going to achieve for the organization right so see mukul it is not the objective career growth and remote job or performance marketing it is the requirement or it is it is your need that you want to grow your career it is you want to get a remote job i am talking about what you want to achieve as a digital marketer for your company or for your client what will be your work there right so that's for my question is same for jyoti jyoti my question is not what you want to do right so definitely you become a digital marketer you start your career as a digital marketer right but after 
what you will be doing as a digital marketer this is my question so some of you are correctly said it is brand exposure growth in smm when you lead generation career growth brand building popularity driving sales right but i i'm just suggesting you one very small thing which is i believe each one of you able to connect if i'm talking about customer attraction attract new customer if i'm talking about building a brand right if i am talking about generating new leads if i am talking about generate revenue by selling the product on e-commerce website right driving sales so if i am talking about all those all these things how i can achieve all these things for my organization or for my client as a freelancer let's suppose some of my client come to me and say build my company brand in the industry or someone is someone is saying can you generate leads for me so definitely you going to do that you going to achieve that for them but how you will achieve them right right now you have suggested the right thing what you are going to do but how you going to do if i am talking about there is a one very important thing that you guys need to keep in your mind it is anyone wants to suggest how you guys can achieve all these things by just focusing on one thing you have to focus on one thing and you will achieve all these things you will build a brand you will generate leads you will drive sales you will convert customers you will take care of online reputation like orm everything you will be able to do but you have to keep your focus on that thing gaining expertise uh, definitely you will gain expertise by doing the things multiple times right so no it is not lack of knowledge and skill and experience uh no so see let me tell you to be very specific in digital marketing industry one thing is very important and it is reaching out to your targeted audience right audience is very important you cannot do anything without audience right so if your focus is reaching out to targeted audience you will achieve all the results let's suppose i am a marketer marketing my organization product it could be a restaurant or it could be a fashion or beauty product right if i am targeting the right audience with my right strategy so reaching out to targeted audience is very important if you are doing that you can generate leads out of it you can drive sales out of it and you can definitely build a brand among those people who actually want your product right i believe each one of you agree with me that if you are reaching out to the targeted audience you will achieve all the results which you are keeping in your like list of work or maybe if you are looking to achieve for your organization okay rakshita is agree with me divya is agree with me and other people i believe not agree with me that's why they not reply nitin is also agree with me that's right what about others okay fine perfect sarvesh thanks also okay so perfect thanks guys so now i can understand that yes and you people understand that yes if you are keeping your focus on this important thing that reaching out to how i can reach my audience how i can reach the, that target or audience which is looking for this particular services or products on the internet i have to reach those people right um, now let me show you one very fine example of this particular thing so i believe each one of you can see my screen so i am searching here one very like small thing like it is best mobile phone under 20000 rupees which may be most of you have searched in your lifetime like you have searched for the mobile phone or something right so you search it like this best mobile phone under 20000 rupees so when you search for these things what will happen you will see the multiple results the first result you will be like seeing here it is amazon chroma amazon amazon in the next you will be see the another result which is amazon.in and it is top mobile 20000 and great deals on electronics so do you guys know what these results are called okay so let me create one thing for you very specifically 
all the things which are sponsored they are paid advertising right so whenever you are learning digital marketing so you have to keep in mind all the things which are showing is sponsored so if you want to rank your product here you have to pay to google if you rank your product here it is again return sponsored you have to pay to google it is comes under google ads right it comes under search engine marketing which covers your paid ads and in paid ads you will cover all these things this one is called shopping ads so if you see the shopping ads the person who has a buying intent who want to buy a oneplus mobile phone and once he search for this and he got that particular information oneplus nord ce 20000 rupees 8 gb ram 120 gb storage so person will click on this and buy the mobile right and let's suppose the person don't have a buy buying intent person is just looking for good deals on the mobile phone so the person will see here the great deals on electronics he will click on this visit this website and purchase the mobile phone that he wanted then if let's suppose and these results which are not written as a sponsor they are called organic right organic means seo search engine optimization so you, you will learn this technique and the best part about these ads is these are non paid you not have to pay anything to google you can get your website ranked here free of cost without paying anything and the advantage is i can just show you this particular website is getting 1.1 million traffic every month this website is getting 3 lakh 50 thousand traffic every month right so these websites are giving you the results which most of the people searching on the google so if you want to like become here if you want to place yourself here and if you want to target most of the people on the this keyword best mobile phone under 20000 rupees so you have to do seo for this keyword and you will rank yourself here how to do it all those things you will learn in the training right so but my idea is if you are searching here and you are getting a sponsored ad if you have a buying intent you will buy here if you don't have a buying intent you will go on some like a sponsored link which was showing here before now it is not showing right let me just quickly this one so if you want to get a great deal you click on this and get the deal and if you don't have a buying intent you what you want you just want to compare the mobile phone you click on these links and visit these website what these websites are doing they are just giving me the information of the mobile phone rating of the mobile phone and they are placing the link of chroma amazon they don't sell the product directly they provide me the link so i believe might some of you might be like wondering about it if these websites putting so much efforts like gaining the ranking in google right because gaining the ranking is google required efforts so if you are putting that much effort and don't not selling even the products you are just giving the information and giving me the link that i can buy it from flipkart i can buy it from amazon how these website will be earning any any idea like how these people are earning they are giving the information and at the end they are giving me the link that you go and buy from flipkart you go buy from amazon so how they will right right i have a reply from divya affiliate marketing rakshita is saying affiliate marketing oh, okay do other people know aishu is saying ads and affiliate marketing right so the people saying affiliate marketing they are absolutely correct the people saying advertising they are also correct reason being they have placed certain ads here right they are like you doing both of the things they are doing the ads as well and they are like using affiliate marketing as well but their major focus is affiliate marketing because these ads don't give you the much amount if someone click on this it will be a very like nominal amount that person will get so usually you can say that they are earning some affiliate income how they get the affiliate income whenever someone search for any mobile phone under 20000 they click on their website they see their mobile phone and by any chance if the person click on this flipkart knows that this person comes from 91 mobile website amazon knows this person comes from gadget 360 website right they have a customized link right when you click on this you see this utm source gadget 360 
this link will be captured by amazon and amazon amazon know about it or chroma uh, this link will be captured by chroma and chroma knows that the person who purchased the mobile phone with this link came from gadget 360 right so this is all about like people who earn through affiliate marketing right but the thing is what we are talking about your major focus right so if you see either if you go on this website these are also affiliate websites right so all people who are wondering that if they don't have any product if they don't have any service to offer but still they want to income or generate passive income they want to create a business they want to become a self independent they don't want to do the job so they can definitely go ahead with the affiliate marketing in their particular niche someone is very good at food related things someone is very good at travel related things people are good at technology related things so they can create people are good at fitness related things right so they can create something which is about their interest and as per their interest they can create some affiliate channel which can help them to earn money by selling the product of other people right so you can sell the product from amazon website you can sell the product from like other website in your niche and can generate the affiliate income right apart from affiliate income what we are going to consider here and see here that all these websites have one thing common right when we started this topic we were talking about reaching to the targeted audience so when you search for the best mobile phone under 20000 rupees what have you seen you have seen that the first link amazon is making sure chroma is making sure that we will be available for our targeted audience their targeted audience is people who want to buy mobile phone under 20000 rupees and they are available for them they are targeting them very well in these shopping ads they have their search ads also available so if someone missed this not able to click on this or don't have a buying intent that person can go here can check out the different mobiles different deals and buy the phone from here even let's say the person not visited this not visited that person just came on this website see the rating of different mobile phone see the specification of compared the phone and then he made a plan that now let's buy this mobile phone so person is still getting the amazon link here the person click and person will reach to the amazon website or land on amazon website similar way if person came on this website again amazon coma or there are other flip cart you can see they have samsung right so what these people are doing these people are very specifically targeting their audience right and they are aggressively targeting their audience if the person is coming from the this result or coming from this result coming from this result this result this result they are making sure that they are available to sell the product to these people right so this kind of understanding you should have on your product or your services this kind of effectiveness you have to show in your marketing campaign that if anybody who is your targeted audience like who are the people who are actually interested in your product and services you should not leave those people you your work as a digital marketer is reaching out to those people right so i believe with this example each one of you able to understand and relate very well that how reaching out to your targeted audience can get you the more lead you build a brand and to crack more sales if yes just quickly write in the chat box yes uh okay harun i just try to speak a bit louder but i believe i am already like uh just increasing the volume from my end wait a second but i believe i am already speaking at a very high level can you hear me now i believe am i audible now perfect harun to you okay so i believe everyone can hear me very well but harun if you are getting my voice low i just suggest you to put 
your handsy or the headphone so that you'll be able to hear me properly maybe there is like system when volume is low actually at your end okay so let me just move to the next part i just want to know from all of you guys like what your objective will be now we have discussed about what you do as a digital marketer we know about how you achieve your result as a digital marketer and we also know that how people like reaching out to their targeted audience effectively right how aggressively they are doing their marketing implementation so that they can target their audience right so now i want to know what is your objective to build uh, like to become a digital marketer like you want to do a job you want to become a freelancer or you want to go ahead and do your own business want to start something your own you are already a digital marketer want to upskill yourself so what is your objective for learning digital marketing why you are here in this session can i have a quick reply okay rakshita is saying might start my own business after some work experience so first thing get a job or to apply your skills in some business or work anshu is looking to build a business okay samir is want to skill up for okay current form abilasha is want to start career in digital marketing mohammad yusuf is looking to up skill okay divya is want to open own digital marketing agency that's great and jyoti is looking to gain knowledge and later maybe own business or a good job perfect yes gaining knowledge is the first thing yes to get a job first perfect okay so i believe some of you here in this particular session that they want to become a digital marketer like everyone wants to become a digital marketer but some of you want to start a career as a employee or as a digital marketing executive in some organization some of you want to become a freelancer want to start their earning with your current job or start some passive income some of you want to use the digital marketing skills in their current domain right they are working somewhere they want to apply these skills become a digital marketer and then definitely you business people are there who want to open their own agency want to build a business perfect and sarvesh is saying focus on my skill and knowledge then i can start my business great perfect so i can see that yes we have a different kind of people here in this particular session having or keeping the different objective so the next slide is all about that only who all should join this course so student looking to build a stable career yes they are in the session working professional looking for growth who already working somewhere want to learn this skill and want to go ahead and do the better job in the industry with the upgraded skills and then people who want to start their career again so mostly housewives are there in that particular case we got as a requirement that they have married now and now they after one or two years or three years having a baby now they want to start their career again so this is a great skills even for those people they can start their career even after certain gap because right now digital marketing is in demand skill and people don't care about your gap years people don't care about your like previous experience what they care about is what kind of result you can produce in digital marketing domain right then we have a digital marketing professionals who are already working in digital but they want to keep up skilling them because this industry is evolving industry if you are not keeping yourself up to date you may lose your job you may not able to produce results right so until unless you are producing results everyone appreciate your skill but once you are not producing results for some business or for some freelancing client they will move to the next business owner and entrepreneur seeking for freelancing and passive income right so all those people we have in that the freelancing what sarvesh is asking what is freelancing Uh, so for everyone who is not aware what is freelancing freelancing is basically you will be not employed by one company you can take as much as work from the different companies that you can deliver right so one company is not paying to you you are not employed for that company what you will be doing you will be working on the project basis for various different companies and delivering their projects this is freelancing 
right they will pay you project basis they don't pay you monthly salary so for completing a particular project they will pay you some amount for particular completing or achieving some result for them they will be paying you some amount right so this is what freelancing is it is just like a own business right but you will be working from like not physical places or something you will be just like don't have any office most of the time freelancers don't have any particular specific office what they do they work from anywhere right okay so this is something you can make your freelancing career as well can work with various clients and can deliver their projects so now come to the next step which is about right structure to learn digital marketing right so we have learned about most of the things that yes what is digital marketing how it works right what you should care about how you can achieve the result and all but now the important thing is how you become that person who is producing results how you become a effective digital marketer so previously what i have what we have discussed it is after becoming digital marketer right i asked you the first question when you become a digital marketer or effective digital marketer what you going to achieve for your company client or your organization or your own business but now we will be talking about how to become a digital marketer first how to become a effective digital marketer right so to become a effective digital marketer we have created a right structure to learn digital marketing and based on this structure we have also synchronized and aligned our digital marketing training right so both of the things are completely aligned our this right structure plus the training you will learn i will show you how so the first thing we have in this particular step it is insightful learning we are keeping the name insightful learning we are not telling you the only learning you know why because only learning is something where people do teach you about different tools they will teach you how to do it nothing is right learning is what learning is understanding and getting understanding on how to do the thing right so when you learn the google ads people will teach you this is the google ad interface click here you will get the ad option click here you will get the ad set option click here you will get the audience define your audience and that's it right that is the learning when you going to learn the seo people will teach you these are the keywords you have to target how to identify these keywords use this tool put your business name here or something and you will get the list of keywords that you are going to target then put your keywords here and that's it so that is learning but we are not talking about this learning this learning is not effective in this learning you can understand how to use the tools but you don't understand how platform works right so let's suppose if i am teaching you the seo and if i am just teaching you how to put keywords to rank them when people search for it that is the learning but when i am teaching you that how seo works how google provide ranking to the websites what all things google will check on your website not only keywords apart from keywords there are list of hundreds of things that google verify before giving you the ranking so what all those things are how you can go ahead and achieve like or how google ranking system works so if you first understand the ranking system of google i believe it will be more easier for you to apply the skill or to use the tool and you will not be the person who will be working like a template like a template means let's suppose today you are working for some company who dealing in shoes you will be working for let's suppose adidas and there you are creating the campaigns or you will be helping them for the seo in the shoe related industry but later let's suppose you join some travel industry right so you what you will be doing whatever you have applied there in the same way you start applying in the travel industry trust me it will happen you don't think about how platform works you just know about yes i created the ads like this in the shoe industry so similar way i'll create a ad for their travel packages i don't need to think much right but this is not the case 
in this case you don't not be able to produce result in every industry you may be specifically where are you working where you start putting some effort you just keeping those things again and again you're doing the things again and again you don't do experiments you don't even like do additional things which can give you the better result you just walking on a like a straight line like this right like a template so the template based learning or the template based implementation you will be doing in everywhere where you are working or going as a digital marketer right but if you want to become a effective digital marketer or if you want to become a effective digital marketer want to apply effective digital marketing skills then you have to understand how each platform works how instagram algorithm works how youtube algorithm works how seo algorithm works algorithm means how they provide ranking they have a set of rules those set of rules called algorithm right so if you are achieving all those rules at with the right measure you will be able to rank the, your website you will be able to rank your videos everything right so the insightful learning will help you to understand how this ecosystem works and once you understand that ecosystem then you will start applying or implementing the things so that you are aware if you do this particular changes in your ad it will be like more easier to get the ranking right so you are aware of which particular thing give you the more value and you can do experiment based on that right second thing live practices so insightful learning is something which help you to get the insights about the platform and then you will be learning the tools and all live practices is very important in this industry because this is not a industry which is like a mathematics or physics or economics it is something which is more practical you cannot understand digital marketing until unless you do not practice it right so what we are doing let me just help you to connect it and show you that how it is synchronized so you will be doing a 5 month of live training in 5 month of live training your 3 month of training is all about insightful learning and live practices so in insightful learning you will be learning the various different topics let me just show you what are those topics you will be learning the various topics these are first introduction then you will be doing or designing your own website so each one of you in this session who will be joining the training they will create a website like www.abcd.com or just let me just share with you like if you want to become a dig run digital marketing agency www.digitaldivya.com or maybe anything you can create anything which will be suitable to you as a name and can start that particular website or a blog if you people are interested in run your food blog travel blog fashion blog or beauty related blogs then you definitely can go ahead and build that particular thing so we will be teaching you how to first build your website then seo search engine marketing seo rank yourself in organic result which i show you where you not have to pay to google search engine ad marketing where you will be paying to do google and ranking your website then email marketing you must be receiving the email to join the session with the name of uh, like i believe ashwarya raval right so all those email will be sent from us this is one of the part of email marketing how to send the emailers to your students and once you enroll on our training let's suppose each one of you when they fill up some form on the website they start getting the communication they start receiving that these are the details student placement records all these things right so if you have noticed all this is a part of email marketing how automatically people start receiving the email when you do a particular action on your website so you will be learning that inbound marketing social media you will be learning all these topics content writing graphic designing video marketing marketing automation resume creation media buying online reputation analytics integrate digital marketing is something where you learn how to create a 360 degree business plan so all the people who are doing a business and all the digital marketers in future who will be working for like as a digital marketing specialist and the people who want to run digital marketing agency it is a very important topic for them because here you will learn how you charge people how you decide a marketing budget 
because if you're not aware to decide how to decide a marketing budget i don't think you can run a business or you can like work as a freelancer or you can run your own digital marketing agency because the first question comes from your like business owner or your client is how much i have to spend how much money i have to spend on marketing to achieve these results so you have to calculate and help them to understand that you will be creating this particular strategy where this much amount you are putting in ads this much amount you are putting in email marketing this much amount you are putting in video creation so how you will be this much amount you will be putting in content creation so how you define that strategy which is giving the maximum roi to your business or to your client right so it is very important for freelancers for like employees who will be getting promoted in future to the management level or strategist level to the business owner or to the people who are running their own agency so it is important and then you will be learning all other things like inbound social media online reputation management e-commerce marketing right so all these things are going to be covered in these 40 44 modules so in this 3 month what will be happening in 3 months you will be learning all these things insightfully and then you will be practicing all these things so when you learn seo you apply your all seo related tasks on this website which you have created in the first session when you are learning google ads you will be creating the google ads for your website which you have created in first session so this project is very important so you all have to create this project once you created this project you will be applying all your skills which you will be learning throughout the course on this project and doing your practices right so in 3 months in first three months you will be learning and practicing all those learning on your own website which we help you to create right so after learning you do the practices practices will help you to understand what all things are you are confident upon right by doing the practices you can analyze yourself you can understand that these are the topics i am very clear these are the topics are my strengths but these are the topics which are well not very clear to me i these are my weaknesses so based on your practices you can identify your strength areas and weaknesses and then you can work upon your weaknesses to make them your strength right that is the advantage of doing the practices and we will be making sure that each one of you are doing the required amount of practices throughout the training third step is portfolio building so how many of you think learning the thing insightfully and doing the life practices is enough to get a job how many of you think like this can i have a quick reply if you learn the things effectively and then you practice those things which you have learned is enough to get a job in the industry agree or disagree quickly write in the chat box Nitin is saying disagrees. Okay. What other people think? Sarvesh is agree. Jyoti is both. Okay. Komal is disagree. Absol obviously agree. Samir is saying obviously agree. Abhilasha is agree. Okay. not necessarily right okay so if i see i have a mixed response some of you are agree with me some of you are not agree with me right so all those people who are disagree with me they are definitely doing the right thing people who are agree with me i believe they are thinking that doing some practices and giving some interviews can help you to get a job yes some time you are very lucky you don't have to face competition in the industry you do apply in some company and you get a job so if you are very lucky you can agree with me and if you are not very lucky so if you are a normal human being then you should disagree with me right so the people who are lucky can agree okay but getting interview opportunity is important part of program yes i will be coming on that part also right so all people who are disagree with me i appreciate those people more 
reason being because by just learning by making some practices is giving you the confidence right getting a job is a confidence game how many of you think it is correct if you want to get a job you should be confident on your skill am i right Komal is of course yes yes so I believe in this particular session all the people who are agree with me or disagree with me they both are agree with me to get a job you should be confident on your skills and how you get a confidence by doing life practices right but there is one catch to get a job confidence on your skills is good but how you get a actually a job you get the job actually when other person confident on your skill i can confident on my skill any time any day right but my confidence on my skill doesn't make much effect on the other person who is hiring me so i have to make sure that the person who is hiring me and the person who is giving me the project as a freelancer or as a agency owner is confident on my skill correct how you get a job when you are confident on your skill or when employer is confident on your skill tell me first or second right employer so giving the confidence to employer or giving the confidence to your client is more important right and how will you give that confidence to your employer with the help of portfolio so the third step is making your building your portfolio so within this training program once you did your learning you achieved your practices you did all the practices on your own website after that there will be a two month of paid internship and during this paid internship you will be building a portfolio you will be working on six to eight different industry projects and in those industry projects you will be achieving certain result and those results you will be showing in your profile or in your resume as a portfolio so when someone see your resume that person can see okay you have did this you have achieved this you have did this you have achieved this and the person can verify all those things by clicking on those links in your portfolio you can mention the links of the result you achieve during your internship and the best part about this internship is you can do it from your home you not have to come in our office you can do it in your flexible hours flexible hours means let's suppose i am working from 9 to 5 so i can do it after 5 i am working monday to friday i can do it on saturday sunday right so it is a flexible internship work from home and you will get 6000 rupees as a stipend after completing it so in two months you will do three things one you build a portfolio and you get the more hands on on your skills and third you will earn the 6000 rupee as a stipend and the fourth you are not compromising or anything you are not leaving your job you are not leaving your academics with your job with your academic you are doing this internship in part time in flexible time right so this will help you to build up strong portfolio which will help you to go ahead and show in the industry so let's suppose now again i am creating this for you you are all of you who are in this session consider yourself as a business owner let's suppose you guys are business owner and there are two people coming for interview the first one is showing you or telling you that yes i worked on my website i produced some results there i did all the practices right so now hire me or the other person coming to you and showing you that yes i practiced all my skills and after practicing i worked on these six to eight different projects and for these projects i have done this and done that these are the reports i have like created a Article for this website, 
on this keyword and my website or my article is ranking on google first page with this keyword so which is more impressive to you as a employer someone who is showing you the portfolio that he worked with various 6 to 8 organization and produce these results or the someone who is just practiced on his own website one or two two i mean oh right one who shown the portfolio perfect so i believe each one of you agree on this particular part portfolio is important to give confidence to the other person by practicing i can gain the confidence myself but gaining the confidence myself won't give me the job what give me the job when i give confidence to other person when i show the result or my like capabilities to other person so portfolio will show your capabilities that yes you are capable of producing those results which that person wants you to achieve for them right so for second third these three steps are something which are really important and getting help uh, like helping you to get a job right but until unless you don't get the opportunity right so i have a question from someone i guess mukul who said about or uh, talk about the opportunity so getting the opportunity is even the more important if until unless you don't get the opportunity you cannot give confidence you cannot show your portfolio to anyone right so getting the opportunity we have three options available for you one option is we have our own job portal i can show you guys right away you can go on in resources here you have a job portal when you click on this it will land you on this page here we have multiple jobs available regarding our different courses you click on digital marketing you see all jobs of digital marketing are published here there are various jobs every day we post few jobs here right so you guys can go ahead and can apply on these jobs once you complete your training program with us right second option is we have more than 150 plus placement partners across the industry what these placement partners will do they will help you guys in your city to connect with the companies who are hiring in your city right so these 150 placement partners share the jobs with our candidates and help them to connect with local opportunity in their area right and you can go ahead and can give your interviews there and get the job that is the second way right and the third way is we do teach you how to grab the job using linkedin so during your training you will learn how to use linkedin effectively to get a job and trust me most of you able to get the job during the program with the help of linkedin itself right this is that much effective right similar way for the freelancers they not need to worry about we will be helping you guys after the training there is a whatsapp group will be made for freelancers and the people like student approach us for courses like you all guys approach us for courses similar way company approach us for hiring our interns and hiring our student as a freelancers right so what we do we share those opportunity in that group of freelancers they can apply for those projects and like the person who is giving the project can select any of you and can provide you the project apart from it we will be teaching you how you can use upwork freelance elance fiverr there are other freelancing websites which you will be using and try to gain the projects from those websites right apart from it you will be learning one more way one more way which is you will be learning the complete digital marketing right so you can apply this digital marketing on your own portfolio on your own website to grab clients i can run the advertisement for myself i can do the seo for myself that anybody need digital marketing services connect with me right i can promote my services using all the digital marketing learning which i have gained in this particular program right same for the business owners they can apply these skills and definitely can achieve those results right like, so now how many of you then okay i have a question from samir so please repeat about linkedin linkedin is a platform or a professional network samir so on linkedin what happens usually most of the company hrs 
their CEOs, their owners are available. And the people who actually required or looking for a job, they can just make their profile effective so that people can approach them to hire them. So we teach you about how you can use LinkedIn in an effective way to attract those companies or to attract those job offers which they are posting related to digital marketing jobs. Right? So that will be taught in the training. Okay, so now I just have a quick question from you guys. How many of you think that insightful learning, life practices, building a portfolio, and even we give you the job opportunity? Now it is enough for you to work in this industry for like your rest of the years. Now you have learned all the digital marketing. Now you have built the portfolio. You've given the confidence. You crack your first job and you crack your first client as a freelancer. You get your free, uh, like client as a digital marketing agency. As a business, you produce your initial breakthrough or produce the results in your domain right now it's enough for you now you don't need anything now you can enjoy the rest of your life as a digital marketer how many of you think like this okay i got quick reply from disagree agree both jyoti you are always agree with both of the things right okay now you're not replying okay sorry i was reading the previous message i need a quick reply can you just please share with me is that enough all these four steps, once you complete these steps, it is enough for you. Agree or disagree? Just reply me quickly in the chat box. Oh, right now, Jodi is disagree. It's never enough, Samir is saying. Okay. Koman is disagree. Okay. Yes, it's never enough. Okay, there's other people who have not responded. I can request them to respond, right? But if they are disagree, then I am agree with them. So you guys are correct because digital marketing, as I told you initially, it is not something which like you learn one time, like a mathematics or like other industry. You learn once and now you can solve the sum any time in future, right? It a dynamic industry. It's a, it is evolving industry. If you learn it today, you can get the results today. If you are applying the same things after six months, if you are applying the same things after one year, it will be never be enough. You don't get the results. You don't get the same results, right? So what you have to do, you have to keep yourself up to skilling. You have to keep learn all the latest things happening in this industry or around this industry. Right. For an example, I just want you guys to remember there is a one platform before Facebook. It was Orkut. How many of you know this? Uh, Rakshita, digital marketing is a complete digital marketing which cover all the digital platforms. It could cover your social media as well. So it is not different. Social media is actually a part of digital marketing. Absolutely right, Kumar. Archer, in three months, you will learn all the things with life practices, and then you will be doing two months of paid internship to sharpen your skills even more. Archer is saying, I know about or could. Okay, yes, or could, no idea. Okay, so some of you who are actually uh, like 90s people, right? So they must know what is output, right? But early 2000 users, I don't think they are much aware about it. So let me just quickly create basically what output was. Output was a social media platform by Google, right? So, but that never worked once Facebook launched, right? So this kind of industry it is. Before people was using Facebook, but now people are using Instagram more. How many of you still use the Facebook more than Instagram? I don't think much of you, right? Most of you use Instagram more actively than the Facebook, right? So similar way, every time when some new platform came in this industry, people shift from that, audience shift from that. So you have to learn the new platform quickly so that 
you can get the results because your work is to what i have told you initially what will be your work as a digital marketer anyone knows anyone still remember if yes just quickly tell me in the chat box target audience perfect so samir knows other people also know right now so i am saying in this industry you have to keep in mind that audience shift right platform to platform they never be on the same platform for so long people were on facebook offer on orkut now they shifted to facebook when that came into the picture and now people are more shifting to instagram they are more using the instagram than the facebook right maybe in next year or next two years you will see the new different platform right people before use the yahoo mails now they are using gmail more right people before have used the yahoo search engine or bing search engine as well but now they completely only use the google nobody use i don't think in india anybody use bing or yahoo search engine right so industry moves every time to the different platform which is providing the more or better services right so every time you will see there is a shift of audience happen so if you learn the platform which came like newly platforms which emerge right away if you learn those platform quickly if you upskill yourself with all the latest learning or latest things happening in the industry you will be always in the advantage you will be always having the advantage to reach out to those audience quickly before other people right so if you are tapping to those audience if you are reaching to those audience quickly you can definitely build better result than others right so now you have a opportunity that you whatever you learn today you stay with that and dissolve in the industry after some year because after some years you don't have that kind of effectiveness in your skills or the second option you keep yourself up skilling you keep learning the new things happening around you or happening around digital marketing industry and always remain effective and always produce effective result so if you want to grow you have to choose the second option keep yourself up skilling and i believe that is why some of you are here who already know digital marketing but they want to up skill themselves upgrade your skill right so these are the steps if you are learning insightfully then practicing then building a strong portfolio then getting the opportunity and then keep yourself up skilling you can stay in this industry effective digital marketer for a long time i just want to know from all of you how many of you agree that if you follow all these five steps you become effective digital marketer and stay effective digital marketer all the time you don't dissolve in the industry you won't be the person who is struggling with the result how many of you think like this agree or disagree shri lakshmi is agree yakshita is agree jyoti is agree komal is agree right because it is actually the thing which will help you or keep you effective always right and how i just told you about till the fourth step that we will be teaching you in three months then and practicing all the things on live project that we will be creating then in two months of paid internship we will be building a portfolio then we will be giving you the job and freelancing opportunity and then for up scaling we will be giving you the lifetime access of the course right lifetime access of the course means today you will learn in 2023 you will learn the complete digital marketing course that what we are teaching today but after two years after four years there are new things available in the industry which you want to learn so you not have to pay anything we being a digital marketing institute always teach the latest thing for an example right now we have ai based digital marketing course as well right people who attended our training in 2015 when we started the course at that time we don't have those options we don't have that learning we don't have those tools which we are teaching now right so if those people want to learn what we are teaching in 2023 now they can just log in in their account and can learn all the latest things what we are teaching today so they not have to like 
go up somewhere and do the course again and buy some another course they just stay with us lifelong and keep themselves updated with all the latest session so always you can access the recording of latest session so whatever you guys will attend in today's time as a live classes recording of those classes can be shared with those people who attended our program previously so same with you whatever like you want to attend in future you will get the recording of the people who are attending the live session at that time right so you always can update yourself with all the latest skill right so let me just quickly create with you guys the how i am still help you i have already told you all these things right we will provide you one on one live sessions in three months in two months we will provide you paid internship where you get the 6000 stipend lifetime access will be given to you for the course 15 plus internationally valued certification like google hubspot meta you will be getting after the course and then you have a 79000 worth of tools so because when you are live practicing the things when you are working on the freelancing projects or the like, sorry internship project you would require the different tools so those tools will be provided by i am skills to help you out to practice your learning guaranteed placement support will be provided we will be giving you the job portal access we will be helping you out with 150 plus placement partners we will be also helping you out with the linkedin related opportunities right then quickly come on the ai related part so these are our reviews and video testimonial which you i believe already have seen on our website it is here in the review section and video testimonial you can go ahead and can check about it right because these all are authenticated reviews given by our student so you can check even verify their profiles on the linkedin as well that they are student hi sir i just want to ask i have a question from do you have any specific course like i just want to do a course or add off is there any option like that no we have a complete digital marketing course that you can opt for which covers your all the things like ads and everything any specific high processor laptop needed no any standard laptop you can work with you don't require any high five graphic card laptop you just need a simple and like standard laptop right 4 gb ram or 256 or 512 ssd or like normally what you can have like this is a normal laptop intel i3 or i5 like you can have a standard laptop there is a no hard and fast requirement or specification you need right so apart from it let me just quickly go through you guys about our artificial intelligence program as well right so how many of you know about ai some of you told me about that they know that chatbot is chat gpt and all yes i am just putting the highlight on that only divya and mukul is saying and need to know classes mode uh mukul all the classes will be live instructor ed online as you are attending this demo session you can ask your all queries during the session as you are asking to me and even the best part this session is only for one hour that's why we i don't encourage people to talk over the audio but in your class you can talk over the audio as well because you have a three month long program so every time whenever you have query question you can ask trainers who speak in the session and can ask your questions as well right so quickly creating about the ai related learning this is our ai based training program where we cover most of the tools it is a four week of training program and it costs you different amount of 25000 it is apart from your digital marketing course that three month of digital marketing course and then you have a one month of ai related course it is 25000 plus gst about 29000 rupees in this we will be covering about whatsapp automation for our marketing or our automation chat gpt for market research ai based youtube channel if some of you have tried to create a youtube channel they must know creating a youtube video will take about 4 to 5 days first you have to think about what topic you have to create you have to think about the content what you are putting in your video you have to create many takes or retakes to create your video then you have to edit your video then you have to upload your video right you do all these things and if you are a first timer initially starting a channel then it may took you four five days once you are regular with the thing it will take you two days two and a half days right but with the help of ai tools trust me you can create four to five videos in one day without using your voice without using your face you still can create a youtube channel 
AI is speaking for you. AI is like uh, generating content for you. So all the things you will be using the AI and then you will be creating a YouTube channel which will be helping you to fasten this process and you will be always creating a content because creating a successful YouTube channel, you require the engaging content and second, regular content, continuity. If you are putting one video today, then you are putting one video after two weeks, three weeks, one month, then it won't work for you. If you are putting your the regular content every day or every alternate day, then it will work for you. You can increase the subscriber, you can increase the audience views and everything, right? So we will be teaching you about how you can use the predictive analysis to predict the future of any particular thing, right? So let's suppose you want to go ahead and do certain activity in your marketing. Then, but you have to predict the future that what is going to be the future of this particular product when we market this product and we launch this product. So this predictive analysis will definitely help you to go ahead and to get the marketing possibilities. That's how and what kind of response you can expect from the marketing when you launch something and when you are on to it. Right. So all these tools of AI will definitely uh, like save your most of the time. Whatever task you are doing in five hours, four hours, five days, they can reduce it to the like you can say a very next level. You can do even the things which you are doing in five, ten hours. You can do it in ten, fifteen minutes. Right. So trust me, these tools are that much effective. You will be learning family marketing automation, which is sending the mails to people based on the behavior right so you will be learning all those things and it will always help you to stay yourself ahead than the rest of the people with the help of ai too right so this course is at a different price okay i have a quick question i am just taking those mukul is saying monday to saturday mukul i am coming on that part just creating with you right away would you advise taking digital marketing with AI before the normal one or just digital marketing with AI and the normal, not normal one? Okay, Komal, I'm coming on that part also. Okay, so I have promised you guys that people giving me more than one hour or one hour, they will be getting this particular surprise from me. And that surprise is you enrolled today on our digital marketing course, which is worth rupees 35,000. You can come and check this here. Right, so you can check the price of this course is 29,000 plus GST, total will be 35,000. So you just have to enroll in this course from this button. I am giving you the link here, right? And you will be getting this AI based digital marketing course, which was to be 30,000 free of cost. You not have to pay any amount for the AI based course this time. From next time onward, you will find it at a different price. But right now, due to this promotional option, we have recently launched this program. So it will be a free for the people who are joining this digital marketing master course. So people who are joining in our digital marketing standard course, they will do first three months of training in digital marketing, and then one month of training on AI-based digital marketing. So now four months of training, and then two months of paid internship where they will earn 6,000 rupees. So ultimately, 30,000 worth rupees course, 6,000 worth rupees stipend, 36,000 rupees of things you will be receiving while you just enrolling yourself in this digital marketing course at the price of 35,000. So enroll today and you will get all these three things without paying any extra amount for these, right? So AI-based course, digital marketing course, and your two months of paid internship, all three will be included for those people who are joining today. Second thing, I'm just telling you guys that batches we have, right? We have two batches available right now. One is the weekday batch. One we have already started from 30th May and the next is going to start from 6th of June, right? So I'm just putting it here weekday. The timing will be Tuesday and Thursday, 8 to 9.30 p.m. in the evening and it is starting from 6th of June, right? 6th June and the other batch we have it is Saturday which is starting from 10th of June and the timing will be morning 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. I quickly need a reply from you guys which particular batch you are interested for. Sri Lakshmi EMI option is only applicable on the credit card EMI 
So by any chance you want to get the EMI done, you can use your credit card to pay the fees on the given link and select the EMI option from there and can choose the three EMI option and can pay the fee. Okay, so I need a quick reply from you guys, which batch actually you are planning for. I have replied from Divya, weekday batch. Abhilasha is saying weekend batch. Jyoti is looking for weekday batch. Okay, Samir is asking the ocean daily lecture will be available on your website. No, Samir, daily lectures are not there. Either you join Tuesday and Thursday, 8 to 9.30 classes, which is evening classes after office hours. So all the people working Monday to Saturday, they can join this batch. And the people who are working Monday to Friday, they can join any of the batch, either Tuesday, Thursday or Saturday. Right? Saturday is morning timing, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I have a reply from Divya for weekday batch, Abhilasha for weekend batch, Jyoti for weekday batch, and Komal for weekend batch. What about others, which batch they are planning? If you guys just share with me right away here, I can ask my team to connect with you guys and help you with the desired batch so that they can share with you the enrollment or admission formality and you can get the seat reserved for yourself. And Samir is saying for Saturday, Rakshita is looking for weekend. Okay. What about others? I can see 17 people are there in the session still, but I only get the reply from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sri Lakshmi is looking for Sunday, but Sunday is not there, Sri Lakshmi. We don't have Sunday batch. We are only having Saturday and weekday batches. We don't have any other batch. So probably if you are looking for weekend, you can join with Saturday, 10 to 1. Yes, Samir, anybody who is making your enrollment today, they will be getting the AI course as a complimentary. They, whether they join for a weekday batch or join for a Saturday batch, or if you want to start from July, you still can pay the fees and can, my team can help you to add AI in your course today itself. So don't worry about it. Okay, rest other people, are they interested to reply which batch they want? So that my team can reach out to you and can help you to register for the same. Or if you guys have any other query, you can just reach me or can help me with it. So Samir, unfortunately, you still can enroll for the July batch, but the AI course won't be a part of like your training, right? Then we change the batch if it's not suitable after some time. Yes, Sri Lakshmi, you have this option. By any chance you started with weekday evening classes or by any chance you started with Saturday, but after a month or so, after completing your any of the module, you want to shift in other batch, this is possible, right? So all the people who are thinking about flexibility, being a student, whatever flexibility you need, whatever flexibility you desire, we definitely can go ahead and can help you with it. Okay, Divya, no issues. You definitely can go ahead and can enroll. Sri Lakshmi, that's great. Okay, just one day in a week is enough. Since it's a three month course, we have only about 20, 30 classes. See, don't worry about Komal. See, let me quickly tell you what is the difference. You are just thinking about it's a three month course and you will attend like once a week classes, but you will be attending a three hour class. Three hour is more than sufficient to learn anything in digital marketing. Let me tell you. I can teach you the Google Ads in 10 to 15 minutes, right? But I, we are still taking whole one week to teach you the Google Ads. Why? Because at my place, I am already learned or already aware how it works. So teaching you in 10 minutes, 15 minutes is not tough for me, right? But at your end, to receive that learning in 10, 15 minutes is tough for you. So what we are doing, this Digital marketing course, one can learn in seven days. Seven day continuously, I will teach you. You can learn all the aspects which we are teaching, right? But we are still putting three months or four months of effort to teach you all these things because we really care about that you will learn everything practically, right? So whatever you can learn in 15 minutes of Google Ads, we are teaching you in three hours. We are helping you to do practices, live projects on that, creating ad by your own. So all those things will take time. 
So that's why it's a three months of course, and it is more than enough. So don't worry about it. And then you have a two month of paid internship as well. So again, you will be going to go ahead and practice all those things as well, right? Samir, is that easy to download those tools in my laptop? Samir, you don't need to download any tool. All the tools in digital marketing work as a web app. Web app means you only need Chrome browser. In Chrome browser, you have to open certain tasks. Have you used Canva? As you use the Canva, similar way you go on canva.com and you start creating design. Similar way all the digital marketing tools work. You go on certain link and there you can do your task, right? So it does not require anything to be installed in laptop except Zoom. Zoom for the classes you have to install, that's it, which you already have as you are attending this session. Okay, so I have got the reply from some of you. Most of you still not replied. I request last time that if you guys really want to go ahead and join the course, I have not get the reply from Yusuf, from Mukul, from Nilima, from Rajni, right? If you want to you still want to go at Sarvesh, if you have any plan to join any batch, Anshu, right? You still can reply and my team can help you with the desired batch. Or what you can do, you can go on this link, which I have shared you. So you can make your fee payment and enroll yourself on this link as well by today to get your enrollment done. This is the link, right? No worries, Archer. you definitely can join. I have sent you the link. You just share with us the batch, which batch you want to start. So my team can connect with you. Actually, I'm driving that way. I uh, couldn't. Uh, oh, got it, got it. So, but this is like I do not suggest you to like do this. You are attending the session while driving. No, actually, uh, actually, I have uh, AirPods. I'm not watching the mobile. Only I'm listening you actually. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's fine. You just drive safely and reach out to your journey. And by any chance, uh, like you can log out because I believe if if you still you don't have any query, guys, the session is over. I'm just taking a few more queries from you guys. So if you have any specific query, you can ask me. Otherwise, the people who are done with the session, they can log out. They can the, thing, uh, the thing is that the uh, payment uh, should be in one slot or what? Actually, I'm not feasible to pay one slot. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Achan? Uh, actually, I couldn't hear you. Actually, I'm not feasible to pay in one, uh, in one slot. Actually, don't worry about it. My colleague will going to help you in that, right? They can help you do like get the EMI using credit card. How you can do it, right? So you can get up to three EMI interest free using your credit card, right? So okay, you can get the flexibility. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Apart, yeah. now you can mute yourself. Or I'll mute it for you. Okay, no worries. I muted you. Okay, so now I have a more one more question from Samir. Apart from your digital marketing, which next course can I do after that in future? Samir, it's up to you. You just learn digital marketing first. Once you have skilled enough in digital marketing, you can plan for the next set of steps, right? Because I don't know how or what kind of achievement you going to carry after the course. So once you are at that level, once you learn all those things, maybe you can decide the next set of plans for yourself. That now you should do this next. You should do data analytics next or what. So it's up to you. So there are various things you can do. Like you can do the content writing. You can do the data analytics. Or there are various things that you can go ahead and can join. But I believe that you will be only aware once you reach at that step, right? So first you learn the digital marketing, make yourself effective digital marketer, and then see what additional learning you need to become yourself or to becoming more effective in this industry, right? I believe that makes sense actually. See, I would suggest rather doing the master in digital marketing, you can do the master's in marketing, MBA, right? MBA in marketing, 
you can do that right because it will help you to expand your profile not only till digital even more than digital right so right now you are taking care of all digital initiatives you going to be a best digital marketer you going to be a digital marketing strategies and everything you will achieve in digital domain but to go ahead and expand more you can do the different thing i hope recording for each session will be there also we can check the recording access for each session once we join will there be any login access yes absolutely shri lakshmi every student is getting their lms account done they can log in in their account can check all the session recording i have i have one more query ki like yes. if uh, sometimes jaise lecture uh, shoot jata hai to what should we do yeah coming on that part only so all yeah. the sessions will be available as a recording in your lms account so by any chance if you miss the session if you want to revise any learning so all the recording will be available in your account you any time can log in and check the recording also you can request the training team to reattend the any class in other batches right so if you have completed your batch but if you still want to reattend any live class you can just request the training team that i have missed this session now i want to live attend this live so kindly give me the access for next session happening on any date so they will give you the dates on this date this is happening you can join this session with this link right now uh, shri lakshmi i believe it is answered your question and abhilasha is asking other certification like meta google are included yes you will be receiving all the learning which is required to get these certification so you will get all the eight certification of google you can directly go on meta can apply for the meta certification as well but that is having a additional fee meta charge you the additional fee whereas other certification has don't have any fee only meta have a fee of 75 us dollar which you have to pay separately at meta website right that's it and as other certification like google hubspot scm brush all will be provided to you the certificates are authorized and are easy to get tested online absolutely uh, samir you will be receiving the certificate by the respective authority you will get the certification from google you will get the certification from meta you will get the certification from hubspot it is not something which has been made in our like you can say made by our graphic designers so you cannot test it you directly can click on the link and can test it on their respective website these all are world wide recognized and authorized certifications you will be getting at the end of the course same way i am skill certification which will be getting after course completion that is also can be verified with the help of that link so you will be getting a certification and then you can share the link of the certificate with anyone person can click and that will redirect those people to the i am skill website and can they can verify your certificate details there right so all the things are authorized and verified yes digital certificate copy will be provided with the links of those certificates it can be verified by anyone at any time Any hard copy, right, sir? Hard copy of the stuff you will be taught will be provided or not? See, definitely hard copies you can get, right? But most of the certificate which I am talking about, like Google, Facebook, and all, they don't offer hard copies. They only provide soft copies. But I am no, 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 no. I am not asking about certificates. I am asking about the course which we will be doing, the uh, study material. Okay, okay. the study material we cannot actually provide you in the hard copy reason being we have the student from 55 countries we don't have the student from only delhi or only mumbai or only bangalore we have the student from across the world in 55 countries and the best part is that digital marketing is evolving domain so maybe we taught you something today we sent you the book for that thing but maybe possible after 6 months that thing is going to be changed you have some new additions or you have some new changes in that particular learning so what we do we create ebooks and pdfs those ebooks and pdfs and presentations will be available in your lms account you can access it from there so whenever any change happens we change in those pdfs and update them so you can download the fresh pdf from there with the fresh content right 
so you always can download the latest content by any chance if you are more convenient to learn through pdf and all you can just download them take the print out and you can have a hand copies for yourself see jyoti actually meta have a option like they earn this way they sell their certification at certain price to earn from that so it is not something like which we are controlling it's the meta or facebook decision to offer that like certificate at a price so they don't even allow others to do it so they don't have any partnership or something with others like they offer it anybody is need meta certification they have to go on facebook site they have to give the exam and they have to pay the us like 75 us dollar fees and then they will get the certificate right so i don't think that it is tough task you can go ahead and uh, do that particular like certification by paying your 75 dollar if you need the meta certification right i hope the all queries has been solved by me for all the people who joined this particular session by any chance anyone has a question they can ask or i am just ending this session now in next 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 what so i am assuming that everyone is good to go ahead they can go ahead and can make their enrollment in the training i'll be seeing you guys in your sessions of the training i'll be teaching you some of the techniques in digital marketing so see you in the session you been a great audience you interacted really well throughout the session the people who are not interacted much i just give them the feedback interact more to become in, to have a interactive session right it is not only the one way that i am talking if you want this session to be more interactive you guys should interact it more and more you guys should ask your question you guys should like reply my question right that's it thanks everyone you been a lovely audience and have a great day ahead and see you in the training session thank you bye